Hey guys, welcome back to another simple and quick tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you how to put markers on your timeline, which is super useful if you're working on a large scale project with a lot of different shots. So for this example, from our last tutorial, we have this nice focus shifting shot from one monkey to the other. It was really simple to set up, but I really wanna know at what frames things are happening. So I think what I wanna do is just show you guys how to do that on the timeline. So we have our timeline expanded down here. As you can see, if I zoom in here and I go to frame 45, and I just press M, I can now insert this marker here. And this is just a super easy way to um, insert a marker and I, I think it's awesome. And I believe you should be able to just delete them. Yep, you can go ahead and click on one, press X and delete if you don't want it there. Let's say you wanted one on every 30 frames. You can just go to frame 60, go to frame 30, press M, and then we can go to frame 90 here, press M. And now, as you guys can see, we have these really convenient markers so that you know exactly where things are happening. Now, obviously, in this focus shifting event, there's not a lot going on except for the focus shift. But as you guys can see, it's very useful to be able to add these markers. And it's going to help you easily lay out each of your shots. For example, if you have a shot that is from frame 1 to 45, you can go ahead and jump up to 45 and you know that the shot ends there. So when you're scrubbing through your timeline, you can easily check out where these markers are and you can know exactly how to separate your different scenes and it'll help you with outputting your different renders. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was really simple, but a lot of people don't know that you can actually add these markers to the timeline. So I just wanted to show you guys that that is an option. You can literally add one every single frame. Again, M is the shortcut. As you guys can see, I'm just inserting a ton right here, but I wanted to show you guys that that is indeed possible and it's very useful. It even marks it for you. Um, and again, X to delete. And that's pretty much it, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. I can guarantee you this will come into play with some of your bigger large scale projects. I definitely use it for some of mine. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day.